I've shared with you guys how I don't always take those trades, but I've made an effort to take them since I see there's more and more setup on the one hour chart. Good morning traders, welcome back to Taipei. I just spent the whole morning on the phone with the bank because I wanted to book some plane ticket and for some reason my credit card is always blocked when I'm abroad. So I had to sort this out, but new plane ticket plan, which is going to be awesome. Looking forward for new travel. Now let's go grab a lunch because I'm hungry and we'll get started with that day. As you can tell, there's a market here during the day and a night market at night, so it's always busy. And now there's a truck trying to cross the uh, road here. It's gonna be a mess. <laughs> All right, we'll get to a restaurant soon, I think. Interesting to note that most of the restaurants around here open only at night, so I'm like walking in the street now and everything is closed, which is really weird, but uh, we'll keep walking. It took some time when I could find a local restaurant. Let's see what that looks like. So for 75 Taiwanese dollars, you get a nice fried rice in Taipei. Now I just put the temple in front of me that I want to walk to, and see if it looks good or not. It looks like a temple, but I'm not quite sure. So we'll walk there and see what that looks like. This is what we call impromptu travel. <laughs> you walk and you see things and you go there. That's it. This turned out to be kind of a massive building right in the middle of the road and the roads are just passing around so it's, it's a little bit weird because you're not used to see temples just like near a street like this but in front is like a park and that's quite beautiful and because I got lost and since I'm far from the subway station I'll keep walking and see what I come across. Oh wow, so I found like a kind of walkway bridge and I decided to go on it. I thought it would be cool but now I think I might have found a very good viewpoint in this city, maybe the best one. Take a look at that. That's a pretty cool river. I didn't know there was a river here in Taipei. Well, it's pretty cool, we get the view on everything, including Taipei 101, which is very far, and a couple of other buildings, which I have no clue what they are. But it's pretty cool, it really nice view. Now back in the streets of Taipei, I think I'm going to try to find the MTR or the MRT. <laughs> the letters varies in the country you're in, but yeah, let's try to find that. Four minutes we stop for tea. And also because I'm lost, I have to find a way to get to the subway. It's incredible how tea makes you change your ideas on big topics. So just change my mind, we won't take the subway. I'll go find a coffee shop instead to work. Because I didn't plan my time well these past couple days and I really have to work a lot more than what I thought I would have to do. So that's kind of bad for the video, but I'm gonna have to work a little bit now. And look at the chart, because it's like 2 p.m. right now, so... I think it's because of that thing this morning with the plane ticket. That took a lot of time, and a lot of time was supposed to work. So that might be a problem.
and I'm back on the street trying to find the place where I'm staying at. This is a high pressure situation. Let's see if I can find it. I found the place back to the apartment, but because I have some time to spare, let's try out the logo snacks. Wait, that's not local. <laughs> that's better. Guess let's have a look at that. I think I've tried this before in Hangzhou a long time ago. People are looking at me thinking that thing on the side of the street, quite funny. <laughs> but this is pretty good. This is kind of a bread with uh, kind of onion inside. I think they call it like onion pancake or something similar. It's just something when you travel, you have to try the local snacks all the time, otherwise, you don't see the whole experience. So that was good. And as a side note, only 25 Sandwich dollar, which is like I think 50. 50 cents, something. And like all the previous days, the night market's getting set up right now. It's pretty much 5 p.m., so that's always as usual. That being said, I found it a little bit hard to find vegetables and healthy food in those markets. It's kind of hard, but <laughs> I just need a lot of vegetable right now. Problem solved with 7-Eleven. So I was debating with myself what to share with you guys today and I feel like sharing my trade set up every single time is not really useful for you or at least it's not what's going to help you trade better but I thought for today I would still share my trade setup and you guys let me know down below in the comments if, it, if this is useful or not if you're getting value out of this I'll keep doing it for sure but I don't feel like I need to prove myself every time and prove people that I trade and everything that's kind of stupid even though people complain they want to see trade set up, comment below if you want to see more of those. And if not, I'll just stop sharing them, and that's fine. But let's jump on the chart right now. So this was a trade taken on Euro AUD, and taken on the one-hour chart. I've shared with you guys how I don't always take those trades, but I've made an effort to take them since I see there's more and more set up on the one-hour chart. So I've still identified the zone on the weekly chart, and that's always what I start my analysis with, either a zone on the daily chart or the weekly chart. This one is pretty clear on the weekly chart, as you can see the 1.57 level. Now I consider this to be an important resistance area. So I was looking on lower time frame to take trades, like the daily chart, which we didn't have anything, the forward chart, which we also didn't have anything, but the one hour chart had a pretty nice setup. So depending on like what you trade and how you see this, you could see this big kind of pin bar or whatever you want to call it outside the Bong Ban. Right after we had a throwing off in candle coming back with it. And what I trade most is with angle in candle. So I didn't trade a pin bar. I traded the angle in candle right after. Stop loss above the high. And always the same way to take profit. So we want to risk one and three. This one went all the way to three. So I got two R on that trade. And that's pretty much the whole summary. So everything that happened there. Nothing special, like as I said, it's always the same routine. Now price kind of consolidating a little bit, so nothing much is happening. I'm not sure if it's going to bounce off that level, hence why it's good to take profit, I think, at 31 or whatever you want to want to take. Because if price bounce and pull back in the opposite direction, at least you covered, and that's good. Kind of speaking fast because I only have like a little bit of battery in the camera. But guys, let me know down below if you like these reviews. Thanks for watching. Give a like if you enjoyed the video today, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.